All right, folks, so this is the Coroma P7 out of the box in all of its glory. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a closer look at all the features of this scooter. So first and foremost, starting in the back, we've got our 14 inch tires. That's really nice because it's gonna give you a better ability to go over larger obstacles. So you're not gonna be as worried about lumps and bumps in the road as you would with something, let's say, with 10 inch tires. Uh, right over here, we've got our disc brake assembly. These are not hydraulic brakes, these are manual brakes, uh, but they are disc brakes, so they should perform pretty well. We'll definitely be putting those to the test. And then of course, back here, we have our 750 watt uh, nominal and 1200 watt peak motor, uh, which should provide more than enough power uh, for you know everyday riding and then climbing up some moderate hills, which we'll also be putting to the test. Back here, we do have our brake and tail light combo. So as soon as you depress those brakes, uh, that tail light does come on, which is a nice touch. And of of course back here we have this glorious basket which supports you know five kilograms here we have our adjustable seat it does have a suspension in the back which should help with comfort this is also an adjustable seat post so we can you know increase or decrease the height uh, as we work our way down we do have a very robust looking kickstand here uh, so we'll see how that holds up over time and then of course uh, we've got our deck here which is covered in this really grippy uh, rubber material so we shouldn't have any issues with grip there as you can see on this scooter all the wires are extra Externally routed and uh, tidied up a little bit with uh, some zip ties uh, and as we work our way forward you'll see that we have our front uh, disc brake as well as the reflectors that we added onto there our 14 inch tires our front uh, fender which we of course we have one in the back and then here we've got our headlight uh, which we'll definitely be testing out at night but this is what it looks like during the day looks pretty bright but we'll uh, we'll see how that works out we do have some quick connects on the cabling here, which is nice. And then of course, we've got that folding latching assembly here, uh, as well as the adjustment for the handlebar height. Working our way over to the cockpit here, we do have these grips. They're not locking grips, so in hotter conditions, uh, they will twist on you. Uh, we do have our manual brake levers here, as well as our bell, which in this case is a manual bell. Here at the center of the handlebar assembly, we do have an adjustment here, so you can adjust the angle on the handlebars if you want. We've also got our front reflector. One thing to call out on this scooter is there is no traditional display. So this scooter will not tell you how fast you're going. It's actually got this display that only shows you battery levels and you've got four bars here. Uh, here we do have our button for the headlights. When you turn that on, it turns on the headlights as well as the taillights. And then of course, we've got our twist throttle, which is the entire grip here. So pretty interesting to see that on this scooter. Uh, just beware that uh, you know if you're uh, having this scooter in the on position and you're moving it around by the handlebars, don't accidentally twist this because uh, I've definitely had that happen to me. And and of course here on the right hand side we've got our right brake lever. So that was our feature overview of the Coroma P7. Let's jump straight into end-to-end -end testing. 